Hey guys, it's Ashley the Handy Homegirl, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make nursery storage out of recycled diaper boxes. This is what the changing table looked like before I decided I needed some organization in my life. And these are the diaper boxes that I turned into some amazing storage for Royals Nursery. Put the little tabs on them so I could pull them out and push them back in. I store her blankets and extra diapers and wipes inside. And here's how the project goes. So you basically just wanna save up all of your diaper boxes. I know you bought them if you are a parent who has a little infant. So um, at first I like to line my boxes um, just to make it look clean and finished and you know, like people wouldn't be able to know that it was actually a diaper box. So this is the fabric that I got from Hancock's uh, before they closed, rest in peace Hancock's. And um, this is just regular cotton material. You'll usually see it on the wall. And it's probably less than a dollar, but I fold it in threes so I can have even cuts and cut all of my pieces out at the same time. You just want to take your box and cut off all the closing tabs uh, with some scissors. And if you want, you can save them for another project. I didn't save mine, but when I was cutting it, I thought I should have, but I ended up throwing them away. I should have kept them because I never know when you just need cardboard, guys. So once you do that, you want to make sure that you have enough clearance or seam allowance in the sewing world. Um, so I just took my box to the left, to the right, front and back, just to make sure that there was enough fabric on all sides. And then I make sure after I did that, I wanted to just mark the corners so I know where my box stood. And I'm, I'm taking it an inch out because when I glue the fabric down you want to have that seam allowance which is usually a half inch to an inch extra of fabric um, that you have um, hanging off and that's just me just marking it so now I'm cutting out my pieces I'm cutting out where I marked um, for each side I took I tilted the box in each direction um, so it's gonna kind of look like a funky cross kind of thing when you when you finish it up And so here's that kind of funky cross. Since it is a long box, it's gonna be rectangular. So the middle section was wider, of course. And so you take your fabric and you want the outside of the fabric to be facing you. You push it in. And you just wanna make, just kind of fit, mess with it a little bit, make it fit. I use push pins and you're gonna see later, I use push pins to kind of hold my fabric. But right now I'm just kind of making it fit, pushing it into the creases and the seams and just, you know, checking to make sure I have enough, enough fabric on each end. And then I use my hot glue to secure the edges now there's a little bit more seam allowance but that's so much that's so fine you're gonna end up cutting it off but just use your hot glue and glue it to the inside outside not the inside the outside of your box you could do the inside but it's not necessary so just glue it to the outside and this is when I said I used pens because when I was trying to smooth out um, some parts of the fabric the other part the other pieces might fall so it'll mess up a little bit So just get some pins or you know paper clip and just secure it uh, But you see how it's holding the top now so I can work on the on the other sides So I'm just kind of fitting it in pushing into the corners and then I created a crease So like I said pushing into the corners create that crease and smooth it out there is hot glue in the corner. You'll see me using hot glue later in the rest of the uh, video. But once again, I'm just hot gluing the edges down after I smooth it out against the edges of the box. And use your hot glue to secure the edges. And here I go with the hot glue in the corner. Push it down. You may burn yourself, but get like a pencil or a pen. I like, I don't know why I'm just a G at this, but I just hot glue the corners, push it down with my fingers, use a pen or a pencil, smoothing it down. More hot glue. <laughs> like hot glue's my best friend. Smooth it down and let it stick on there. Create your crease. 
smooth all the way up and you just want to secure the edges with some hot glue. And this is basically a poster in a box, pretty much. <laughs> and then take your scissors and you just cut off the excess fabric. And your lining is all done. Now it's time to work on the outer parts of the box. I also got this uh, material from Hancock's. Rest in peace, Hancock's, once again. And I really just kind of freestyled this, and hopefully you guys can keep up. But I made sure, once again, that I had enough clearance on all four sides. I am going to be cutting as I am going. So right now, I am cutting my seam allowance about one inch apart after I've glued down the edge. And you want to cut like a long rectangle with seam allowance is not necessarily necessary around the bottom, but the top it is. So you just want to fold it up, glue it. And working on the other side now. Seam allowance is on the top, not the bottom. Smooth it up and then I just put my seam allowance on the inside as well. Then I set my box up. Like I said, I'm working and cutting as I'm going and I'm doing my sides. You cut the same width along the trim edge of, or the edge of the box. Hot glue it. And up. it's almost like professionally wrapping a present. <laughs> That's the best description I can have. Like it's like professional wrapping paper with fabric and not a bow but just follow the edges. I go all the way around the box, securing my sides. You basically are doing the same thing on two of the sides and then you go to the other sides, other two sides, and you do the same on those sides. I hopefully, I don't know if I'm explaining it well enough, but I think the video is like, all right, I'm gonna stop listening to her and just watch her. You can do that too. <laughs> But yeah, I was really just working as I was going. And once you get the hang of it and watch it enough times, you will understand that, oh yeah, I, I get the, the hand work of it all. But make sure you have your seam allowance and you only cut on the edge right here on the outer side of the box. But on the inner side of the box, you need something to glue. So right here, I'm cutting about a half inch of seam allowance. That edge is even to the box, and I glue it up, smooth it out, proceed to the other side since that side is also cut evenly, glue it up, and you can also do it opposite, like I think this is the one that did opposite, but it worked either way. And that's my seam allowance that I made sure was about an inch or an inch and a half. And that's pretty much your box. Now for the pull, just took some ribbon, I glued the two ends together. And then I glued the pull to the middle of the box, not at the edge, but just, you know, half inch down. And with my little ribbon that I made detailing, uh, you want to make sure that you cut it right on the grain so it can be even. Uh, it won't kind of fray on you. Because now here I want to show you how to make the little detailing ribbon ruffle that I made. Um, just take the middle thread. You want to make sure that you get a fabric with like a weaving pattern. You take that middle thread and you pull it. Don't pull it all the way to the end because it will come out. But you just want to work it. Work with it all the way down. And not try to pull the ending thread all the way out. But just work it very slowly. Don't yank it because then you just won't. It, it won't ruffle anymore. And then I measured it to my box. 
and I hot glue the edges and the center and you just want to put it right in the middle of where the um, thread that you pulled it at pulled off or pulled out and you have a recycled diaper box that you have turned into some fabulous storage for your nursery enjoy hey homies you can find more diy tips and tutorials at thehandyhomegirl.com and stay up to date by subscribing to my blog and my youtube channel and you can also follow me on facebook pinterest twitter and instagram see you later guys bye